Black Piano Secrets. In this video, I will be teaching you how to play the tango La Comparsita. Let's get started. The first thing that you should know is that the melody is going to outline a D7 chord. D7 will have a D as the one note, uh, F sharp third, A and C. So we have this chord, D7. So what we'll do is move those notes around and we have the melody as simple as this. D, C, A, F sharp. And then what we do is repeat the D that we play with the thumb, double note. So we'll do D, D and C, D and A, and D and F sharp. This is piano, so we'll play it a little bit softer. So we have this now. So what we're going to do is add another measure, and what it does is a turn around the D. So you think on the D, and we'll go D, E flat, D, C sharp, and D. So we'll do. Now we put it together, we have this now. Okay, so we have the first line off of the D7 chord and now what we're gonna do is do another line just like this one and we're gonna use a G minor chord and what we'll do is lower the F sharp to a G raise the A to a B flat and raise also the C to a D so we use those notes instead on G minor so we'll have this now D D B flat G. And what we do is the same thing as the first one, we add the D below. So D, D and D, D and B flat, D and G. And then we do the same turn from the first line. So, and this repeats two times. Let's try to play it the way it goes now. And we start on D. Let's go a little bit to the left hand. So if we play here D7, the bass chord is D, so we're going to have a D chord on the left hand also. Okay, and the first thing I would like you to do is just do the rhythm. So we'll have one. So it's like one. If what I'm going to show you is too difficult, you could keep it this way. And you could also do one beat per uh, beat. So you could do this. So in other words, you could do. You know, or play one time. And then we'll move. That's just to uh, do an exercise in the matching. So the original has from B to D, it has a chromatic scale. So we'll go. And we hold that D. So we could do B, C, C sharp, D. And we'll do it quickly. So try to release the fingers very quickly. So. And we'll do it up to there. Once again, so quickly to D. After you master the D chord, you see that it's open position, it's not like this anymore because you have to hold that D. If you cannot hold it, you could also do... But it will sound much better if you do. Then we have a different chord here, which is kind of like a diminish. F sharp, A, C. But first we have the octave. So octave and chord. Okay, so we have this now, F sharp, F sharp, and then the chord, and then we go somewhere else. Now if we play it very slowly, we'll have this, okay, if you want to start matching the notes together, 
know that I'm gonna play this measure very slowly so you can see it. So we have we have match D and D, then chord one time, right hand, one chord and another one together with the D and A, together again, by itself, match it, match it. Okay, that's how we match it. Let's do it one last time and I'm gonna try it a little bit faster now. And then here we'll do the same rhythm but with a G minor chord. Let's do it one last time. Okay, now remember that the second time we use the G minor chord we keep the same rhythm but now we have to work on the left hand and don't get scared because after you get these two it repeats again so I know some people have trouble with the left hand but it's not that difficult the next chord because we have this note G minor so we also have G minor here but the thing is we're gonna extend it and we're gonna add another G and the G on the top has to resonate more so we'll play the G Keep that G going. After this G minor chord, we're gonna have like an E flat, G, B flat, E flat. And we just do it one time, then we do the inside, and we go back to D. And once we go back to D, it repeats itself. So I'm going to do the G minor slowly one time and then I'm going to put it all together. I play the repetition on the left hand and then we'll do it with both hands. So let's say we have this now. And here's going to go back already too because we're already in D. So what I'm going to do is play it very slowly the entire left hand. Bring the F sharp and the G. E flat back to D. G again. And then it's going to go to a C minor. So now let's try to put it slowly together. And we're going to start on the D. Together, together. This is clear to you the only thing that might not be clear is the first beat when you do this so there's a quick one there which is kind of syncopated there syncopated again syncopated So it's important that you figure out the rhythm very clear first there and then after you have that start doing it very slow so so you can see the matching and the ones that don't match so the D is gonna match on the first one so by itself by itself right hand by itself left together together by itself left hand together together now, G and D by itself, right, left, together, 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 and together. Let's do it now a little bit faster, and I think uh, it will be more clear how the beat is supposed to go on the left hand because if we do it so slow, sometimes it gets lost. So let's try it like that. What you have to think is that pretty much when I play the first beat of each measure is the hardest part. Let's say when I do this. 
so I will practice just that. Notice that there's one in between and it makes a jump. So left, right, together. Okay, and when you do it with the uh, together on the G chord, it's a little hard too because the syncopated is the same. So it's together, left chord, right, and double left together. Now the same. Left, right, two, and one. I hope this is clear to you. If not, you could always rewind it. The information is there. And you could also do it at half speed. Let's continue now. And what we're gonna do is this next melody is going to be based on a C minor chord and that's why we have C melody and we also after that we're going to have same value of note but we're going to have octaves so we're going to have G C G and F sharp C F sharp and then back so we play the octave and that's all we have then afterwards, we just move that. Same note. C. Okay. I like to put four here. I think it's helpful. But some people might be, have to put five. If the hand is too small. Now, what we have on the left hand, we have some leaps, but we have a C minor chord. And then we go up here to a C minor chord and we move it E flat G and chord okay and then we go back C G so pretty much that so chord and then chord again I'll do it one last time slow up in this one here that I play just now so to do it together we have the C with the C minor chord together together so I'm gonna go slow now and tell you where it goes together together E flat with the first chord uh, G C G by itself together then we jump together and that's it a little bit faster and you don't have to put much pedal maybe a little bit at the beginning or maybe don't even use it that is gonna go to a B flat and you'll see that it has the left is gonna have the same pattern but on G minor now so chord we go up we do G minor here split split and then chord then we grab on G now melody for the right hand we have B So it's pretty much this, very similar to the other one, but it's using B, uh, G minor note. So B, G, B flat, G. Move it one key down. Then move it quicker. And that's it. So let's do it together. And if I do it very slow, the last line the last line is going to be based on D so pretty much what we do is move those chords to a D so if we play G minor here now we play D and we also move it here F sharp A chord and play F sharp D major again F sharp and G D 
G minor. The note that the leaps are hard, so you have to go over and over until you get them. Pretty much always jumps. And chord. The melody is gonna be A, A and D, F sharp, A and C, A and D, and then C, B flat, A, G, F, G. So we have. And then we jump to a G minor chord at the end. If I do both hands together, one last time. So A matches, F sharp matches A and D, A by itself, together, together here F sharp and the chord on the top on the left hand, matches, 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 F sharp, G, and chord. That's the whole thing. So I hope this video was helpful and if you enjoyed subscribe. Thank you very much.